about melodies, right? And then after we define what melodies are, we hopefully figure out, are able to identify them, okay? Then we're going to be learning how to play some melodies, all right, for some songs. And one of them will be No Woman, No Cry, the one that I was playing uh, before the lesson started, all right? So that's all the housekeeping business that I uh, have for today, so let us get started, all right? So first things, excuse me, first things first is, all right, we need to define what a melody is, okay? And a melody... Okay, maybe you've heard this word before, uh, maybe you've even used this word before, but never actually defined it. All right, a melody is a sequence of single notes, and it is perceived as a single entity. All right, it's like one clear idea. Okay, for example, if I say, the sky is blue. That is one sentence. That is a single entity. So a melody is kind of, you can think of them as musical sentences, right? But this is very important. It's a sequence of single notes, okay? Now, so what does that mean? What does that look like in uh, practice? Now, James has a very good question, and it is very relevant to what we are doing now, so I will answer this question, James. Um, James asks, how is a melody different than a riff? Okay, a riff is usually uh, a, sh a much shorter phrase, a much shorter musical phrase that may or may not be uh, the melody. It may or may not be the notes that the singer is singing. Right? It may or may not be that main thing. Uh, and a melody can also change throughout an entire, um, you know, a verse melody, a chorus melody, bridge melody, and so on and so forth. So, um, you have all these different types of melodies as, as well, kind of like different chapters. But a riff is a much shorter musical phrase, right? And that's what we were learning in, in our song excerpts of, in Lessons 1 and 2 last week. We were learning riffs. We weren't learning the entire melodies, right? So, like, the smoke on the water, right? The smoke on the water was... Right? That there is a riff. That's not the melody. That's not what the singer is singing. Same thing with Come As You Are. Right? That's the bass line. That's more of a riff right there. But Kurt Cobain is not singing. Bum, 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 bum. Ba, da, 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 da. You know, he's not doing that. Okay? Um, he's singing above that. His melody is wherever his voice was going. I don't even know. <laughs> right? So I hope that answers your question, James, and clears it up for any other students as well. Now, uh, let me play this melody, these notes in front of you right now, right? And this here is an example of a melody. Now, probably everybody will recognize this melody. It's a children's melody, but I wanted to get something really clear, really easy, and straightforward, okay? So, just have a listen. You know, let's, let's start training our ears, all right, let's start training your ears to kind of start picking out what melodies are. It is indeed, Nick. Very good. Just from here. Okay? We have 
a single notes here, right? We have a pattern of notes that are all single notes played from left to right, right? There's no double notes that we're playing in unison or three notes that we're playing in unison, right? This is all made up by single notes, right? There's a very, very defined sequence, all right? There's a very, very defined sequence. Again, it goes from left to right. There's the beginning part. Then the middle part. And then the last part, which is the same as the first part. I know I was playing it a little bit fast there, but again, it's just to show you that there is a defined sequence and structure. And finally, finally, okay, it is a single entity. The beginning uh, part of the melody, the middle part, the end part of the melody, it all forms one clear idea, all right? So when we are playing melodies, uh, we need to follow this, or we will be following this, but also more importantly that when you are listening, right, to songs out there, when you're listening to music, and that's why I'm really, really happy James asked me that question earlier about how's a melody different than a riff, right? You know, uh, we need to be able to identify what the melodies are, because that is, you know, if, if that's the only parts that we learn in a song, doesn't matter where in the world you go, people will be able to recognize it because you're playing the melody. You're playing the thing that the people like m recognize the most, right? So that's why the melody is is so important. Okay, so um, to reaffirm what it is that I just covered, all right? What is the sequence of single notes that are perceived as a single entity called? Can everybody tell me this? Can everybody make sure that they tell me this? Pranav, yes, Karen, very good. Joe, wonderful. Stephen, Frank, wonderful. It is indeed a melody, uh, guys and gals. All right, so um, here is an example of a non-melody. Okay, here is an example of a non-melody. Now I'm going to play this from, um, whoops. Whoops, 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 I did not mean to do that. Sorry, one second, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to put a little bit lower here. All right, and I'm going to play this for you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. If, while you were listening to that, you look like this gentleman, okay, not look like, or might be thinking like this gentleman, like, what was that that I was just listening to, all right? Now, this thing that we just saw, this thing that we just listened to, now, it is comprised, it is made up of single notes, However, there is no clear sequence. There's no defined structure to, the, to these single notes. It's just random notes that are plopped in. I remember uh, a student of mine once said that, you know, it sounded like his three-year-old trying to just randomly press the keys on the piano. And that's exactly what it sounds like. And because there's no sequence, because there's no structure, our brains cannot really make anything of it, right? It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything, okay? So, uh, again, it's important to know uh, what the difference is between a melody and a non-melody, things that um, give uh, part of the definition, satisfy parts of the definition, but not all of them, okay? So, here is another example of a non-melody. Now, this actually sound, will sound quite nice. So just give me one second. Let me play this for you now. All right. Now, that there sounds very, very nice. 
that sounds actually like music, right? Now, the thing is, though, it's not made up by single notes, right? Every group of notes has to be played in unison, right? And each pair of two notes has to be played in unison, right? But it, there is a clear and defined sequence, and our brains have a much easier time making sense of this than what we just heard. However, we still don't call this a melody because, again, very good James, uh, Joe as well, all right, it's not made of single notes, right? They're made of two, in this case, or more notes, right? Now, what we call this in music is a harmony, right? A set of multiple notes that are played in unison, in sequence, all right, that gives us a sense of a single entity. Okay, not exactly, they're not power chords, James, and we'll actually talk about power chords, I believe, in uh, Lesson 7, so make sure uh, to stick around for, for Lesson 7, all right, uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, very good, very good, you're a little bit ahead of the game there. So, uh, before I continue... Okay, before I continue, uh, let's do a really quick pop quiz here. Is this what you see on the screen, a melody or a non-melody? Hold on a second. Whoops, that was the wrong one. Alright, this one here. Was that a melody? Is this a melody? Erase, very good. Alright, it is a note, Karen, very good. It is a non-melody, it is not a melody, right? Because it is just one note. One note a melody does not make, okay? You like Yoda there? Alright, so what about here? Right, this is kind of a little bit of a tricky one here, so let me play this. I will play that again. One more time. Again, this is a little bit of a tricky one. Okay, very good. I see most of you are saying non-melody. Okay, most of you are saying non-melody. And I like Irache's answer, not a melody. There's no structure or sequence, right? You, like, we, we still don't know, right? There's no kind of single entity. Yes, it's made up by single notes, and it, it might be a part of a melody, but we just don't know. We just don't know. It's kind of, it, it's still a little bit too vague, right? Maybe, again, maybe it's part of a melody, but it, again, it's, it's, it's a bit vague. It's a bit vague. James asks, is it a riff? It may be part of a riff. It may be a riff uh, on a song. I don't know. It, it, it may or may not be. All right? It, it can't even tell if it's a riff or not at, at this point. All right? Next. What about here? Um, what about that? What about that? One more time. Okay, very good everybody, everyone's getting this right, it is 
not a melody. Again, it's just maybe, 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 you know, if if it was part of a larger thing, you know, but uh, a larger musical phrase, maybe then we could say it's, it would be part of a melody, but just standing alone on its own, absolutely not. All right, so uh, let's do one more, ladies and gentlemen. Something 
important here to remember. This melody is is in um one second, ladies and gentlemen, one second. Um Okay. Uh this melody is has three beats per measure. Okay, this melody has three beats per measure. So we count this, and again, we'll get more into counting and rhythm and let from lesson five on, but we count this one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so here we are. Let me, and, and uh, this melody starts on beat three. Maybe I should make this a tiny bit smaller. Sorry about that, just so you can see. And I can make maybe myself a little bit wider. Now, I, I really shouldn't be making myself any more wider than I already am. All right, so, <laughs> all right, here we are. A one, two, Let's do it again. Let's do it again. 
Ready? Whoops. A one, a two, and three. I also haven't gotten any questions. 
questions about this at all, so I uh, imagine everybody uh, understands and uh, has figured out that uh, the frets that we're supposed to press, right, we're using the same finger to press that fret. So, for example, second finger goes with the second fret, first finger is going to go with the first fret. Okay, so... Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it one or two more times, and then we'll move on to the next song. So here we go. A one, a two, three. Whoops. Right, 
there is that first part. Antonia, very good. Very good. It is indeed two. There are two parts to this melody. There's the verse and the chorus. I can't get anything past you, ladies and gentlemen. You are all paying attention. So that's really good. Um, uh, again, just want to reiterate that the fret that you're supposed to press is also the finger. Remember, we have our first finger, second finger, third finger, and our fourth finger. Right? So if you see a number two, that means we put our take our second finger, put it on that second fret of, in the case of the second note of this melody, second fret of the G string. Okay? So, here we are in this melody. Here we are. A one, a two, a three,
good job, good job, good job. Alright, so here we are in the second half. Okay, second half of the song. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Tempo 
and the speed. Okay? So, and again, it always is, you know, it's, it's like baby steps, right? You take one step at a time. You can't just, you know, be driving, you know, 200 miles an hour, which would be 300 kilometers an hour, all right, uh, just right away. You, know, you need to step on the gas first, and then, you know, eventually, depending on what kind of car you have, hey, it could be five seconds if you have a really fast car, but usually for most cars, you can't even get up to 200, all right? So, again, we, we, we need to take things slowly, right? We, we can't just put our foot on the gas and, and think that we're just going to get there, right? We need to slowly, safely accelerate, okay? So, here we are um, with this melody here. I'm going to do a demonstration, and, and please note in this melody that we are will have to incorporate our lower strings, our lower toned strings, right? So the low E string, the A string, right? So we're going to have to use these strings now in this melody. So this, you know, is starting to, you know, kind of be a little bit more challenging, pushing you to another level, you know, of, of you know, guitar play. And that's why you're all here, right? So demonstration time. Here we are. No woman, no cry. Two, three.
one time through. Hold on one second. Let me let me make myself a little bit shorter and a little bit fatter. Okay. Not that I need to be made any bit fatter than I already am. <laughs> Here we go. A one. Whoops. That was not what I meant to do. A one. Two. Three. Oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't paying attention to the screen. A one. Two. Yes, Paul. Paul has a good question. Will we get a chance to print out this stuff? 